tell us exactly what the AIQ is, what does it stand for, and what exactly it provides? The AIQ stands for Athletic Intelligence Quotient, and it measures sports-specific intelligence. Most what does people, that mean? Yeah, thank you for asking. Most people confuse intelligence with knowledge or experience. And so, like, when you go, oh, that guy's got a great football IQ, that's actually really somebody describing experience or knowledge. Intelligence is how we get to those answers. So experience is knowing two plus two equals four. Intelligence is coming up with a process that solves, oh, wait, I've got two fingers, two fingers, and I put them together, I count one, two, three, four. So intelligence is really about puzzles and problem solving. So what we did, my partner and I, is we spent about 15 years researching what forms and aspects of intelligence are used in sport. So first we defined sport as an unsolvable puzzle in a chaotic situation. Then we looked at all of those kinds of areas of work where that kind of folds. So we looked at firefighters, first responders, police officers, military, and, and sports. And we came up with a construct of what cognitive ability. So for example, visual spatial processing is the ability to kind of know where you are in relation to space, key landmarks, kind of almost like what we would call field awareness. So if you think about a quarterback who rolls out of the pocket, has to reset and then recalibrate where he is in relation to the routes being run, that's a cognitive ability. So you kind of mentioned, you were like, Scott, how is this stuff so spot on? Well, I think part of it is when we aimed for the bullseye of data to capture, it took us 15 years to actually figure out what we were trying to capture. And what we were trying to capture was when a player is out there in live time trying to figure out where to run or how to get their toes tapped inside without stepping out of bounds, what are the cognitive abilities that most impact that or are most relevant to that?